Hey guys, Sebastian and Cotto here. Uh, we are bringing to you today our almost heaven Worthington sauna. Four to six people. Uh, you are in our one car garage where we have put this big beast, this mammoth of a thing. Yes, we are crazy. Yes, I am wearing a sauna wool hat because it gets hot in that thing. I'm going to take it off. Um, anyways, those are super cool. We were gonna go over and we got some really cool hats because boy does your head get hot Those are supposed to increase your longevity when you're in the sauna if you didn't know it You can get them on Amazon. They're pretty sweet today. We wanted to talk to you about uh, Installation of the sauna and how we feel about almost heaven and how they've treated us um, Communication things like that We did not see a bunch of reviews online except for coming from almost heaven saunas, which of course uh, they're gonna boast their own product, right? Um, but guess what? We're gonna boast it to you today, not because we are getting paid by them or this, or they're giving us um, this sauna for free. You know, I mean, none of this. This is because we absolutely love this thing. I can tell you that. Without further ado, let's, let's get, get this, this review started. started. Excuse, Excuse my, my terrible, terrible edits. edits. Commence small, small intro. intro. I did do a lot of research on what sauna we should buy, infrared versus dry, versus this company, that company. There's there's plenty out there. And eventually we went with Almost Heaven and I believe we made the right decision. I'm sure there's some other good companies out there. Uh, yeah, with that being said, if you can do and or have put together an IKEA piece before, you can do this. And Haley told me that from Almost Heaven and she was right. With that being said, a rubber mallet is a must, and uh, of course your drill, and, and basically this, this thing's gonna come up right together. The instructions will tell you exactly what you need. What's really great about this is there are pre-drilled holes in all the wood where you're gonna be drilling the screws that they provided in putting this thing together. Pre-drilled holes, it makes it super easy, super efficient, and um, we love that. We did not read the instructions beforehand that we just started step one. With that being said, the instruction did tell us to go ahead and read that beforehand. We should have. So we wanted to give that a, uh, give you guys a tip to go ahead and go ahead and go through the pages, read it, do what we didn't do, make it easier on yourself. And it's only going to take 10 minutes. Another really great thing we love, the wall sections come together with a tongue and groove way. So the walls are not, these walls here are not screwed together. Literally, there's a, a tongue that sticks out and a groove in one of the other wall and they fit in and it's uh, really efficient. And once we put all, uh, there's three wall panels here. I wanna say there's probably, there's four on the back and three on the other side. Once those walls got up, this thing was sturdy as could be. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's it sturdy and it was sturdy om almost like that. I mean, it, it's sturdy now because the roof and the glass went up, but it was almost as sturdy when we just had the walls up. Really love the tongue and groove. Uh, not a lot of screws going into those. It really helped. One thing we wanted to tell you that the instructions don't say, and some sometimes we found the instructions were a little bland maybe, like we needed a little more information. With that being said, make sure you attach your hinges to the glass door first before trying to put your glass door onto the glass that is already in place. So what's gonna happen is, these two glass pieces are gonna be in place. Your door is gonna be the last thing to go on, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to attach these hinges to the glass door before you get the, the glass door up. That was one thing that was super annoying to us, so we wanted to point that out to you. One thing, we'll bring you inside now. Welcome to our Worthington. One thing that we cannot, we did not figure out, and maybe almost heaven can reach out, is this gap here between our uh, lower back support and the long bench. Don't know why we have that gap. We noticed in Almost Heaven's uh, instructions and in their video, they did not have a gap. Uh, it doesn't harm a lot. The bench here still fits below the lower back support. It's a little tight, but it fits. So it's not a big deal, but we're just wondering what we did wrong. With that being said, I mean, you could tell there's room in this bad boy. And we've had three people on this bench so far. It's been great support. We've absolutely loved it. 
one thing we wanted to tell you was that people don't talk about during buying a sauna is an electrician, all right? So when you go to put that 240 amp, that run in from your, when you go to put that 240 in, I don't know if you're, if you're an electrician, you can do it yourself. We're not doing that. I had um, a good friend pass away for messing with that box. So anyways, we didn't do it. We hired an electrician. The electrician does cost money. He's gonna, he's gonna hit you, all right? So take that into account when you're budgeting your in-home sauna. Um, but anyways, it was a real smooth process. We had Tweety come over here. His name's Tweety uh, and install uh, our, our 240 amp, ran straight to the heater. Uh, we got the big boy 9.5 kilowatt Verta uh, heater here made by Harvia. It is a bad mama jamma. Also, we wanted to point out that you want to install this light before putting up this bench. Uh, one thing that the instructions doesn't point out because what happens is when you put this bench up there, uh, there's a big piece there that will not go through the the hole here the, there's a gap between the, the bench and the wall there and that big piece won't come up there so you're not able to hide the cable real well so that's one thing here's here's another cool thing is that everything is so easily put together with screw and a drill gun I mean we could easily in 10 minutes take this thing off get what you know hide our cable like we want it to be and put it right back on that's how great this thing is you know we love the light back here it's absolutely gorgeous uh you turn this bad boy on you get this really nice effect and we get in here it's really relaxing last thing regarding the sauna is the temperature gauge so we had this bad boy sitting he was hanging right above the verter heater they tell you to put it about uh four inches above this below the ceiling Okay, well, putting him right above your Verta heater here, re it reads the hot temperature so quickly. So we were actually getting a temperature in the sauna of only 150 when we had the sauna tuned to about 194. And we noticed that it wasn't as hot as it could be. And we moved that thing over here, you know, three, four foot away and a little bit less down from the ceiling. And this thing gets cooking. Now our temperature gauge is actually reading what our digital temperature gauge is reading on the outside. So that's one thing that is huge, your temperature gauge. Because what this bad boy does, it reads the temperature, tells the heater how hot it is in here, and your digital thermometer out there, you tell it what temperature you want it to be at. Well, when this, when this temperature gauge reads that temperature, it shuts the heater off and you're, you're done. So we were really, there for a couple days, we were really only getting about 155 degree temperature. I thought this wasn't working, when in reality, we just didn't have this in the right place. That is a safety feature though. So it's gotta be somewhere in here. Make sure don't put, don't put it too far away from the heater because you also don't want it to be 250 degrees. That, that just won't work, right? Me and Kato wanted to talk to you about our benefits of the sauna that we've experienced so far. Uh, we've felt that we've been sleeping a lot better. I mean, we used to, we used to do sauna, sauna use at our local gym, not as heavy as we're doing it now. We listened to a lot of Joe Rogan and Dr. Rhonda Patrick Shout out to those great people. Yeah, so we're, we're sleeping better. Body tends to be in a more relaxed state most of the day. One thing we wanted to point out is you need to make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Both of us have experienced headaches if we're not hydrating immediately after a good amount of water before we go to bed and throughout the day. Hydration is key. We're extremely happy with it. Um, it, it decreases my inflammation, I found, so if I'm hurting during the day, I jump in here at night, 20 minute session. Um, and I've been feeling pretty good the past few weeks for, for quite a few hours, it relieves my pain. Uh, almost heaven, you know, we got some uh, some cedar backrests here. We got the ladle and bucket, that is key. Eucalyptus, this is also a key to make it smell and give you a really nice vibe in here i guess you could say some some essential oils we haven't tried anything else we love the eucalyptus we also bought some dry brushes um over here these bad boys are to um you can use them before the sauna or uh, in the sauna uh, basically scrub off some dead skin and open up those pores i found that i tend to it seems that i sweat a bit faster if i use the brush right when i get in um, and i think i sweat more uh, that could just be me. Anyways, that does wrap up our video. We're happy to bring this to you guys. 
uh, another couple things about almost heaven. They have been incredibly responsive, okay? Let's jump out here. We're gonna show you the digital thermometer. We ordered the, the Wi-Fi remote controller with our Worthington. And what happened was it came and this one is not the Wi-Fi controller. So we called up, which they answer every time. Almost heaven is on fire. Their customer service is phenomenal. Uh, right when we told them we did not get the Xenio Wi-Fi, they had it on the way the next day. So shout out to them. We are incredibly impressed by their customer service. Uh, we got mom in town right now. She's loving it. So we just wanted to bring this to you guys today. Again, you didn't see many reviews except for by Almost Heaven. We are extremely pleased. Yes, we're a bit crazy for putting this mammoth in our one car garage. Uh, we do not use the garage. We're kind of using it for a workout zone. You're gonna see some more videos from us. We've got a functional trainer on the way from Titan Fitness, Proform bike here that we love. You're gonna get some more reviews. We wanted to hook you up with this. Hopefully you love our review, like, comment, subscribe. Almost Heaven Saunas, we highly recommend. And the Worthington, we highly recommend if you have the space. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time. Peace.